the European Security and Defence College was established in 2005 with the aim of providing strategic level training and education in the field of common security and defence policy. All EU member states participate in this effort. The training audience comprises personnel from the EU member states and EU institutions involved in the common foreign and security policy of the EU. The ESDC is a network college bringing together civilian and military institutes, colleges, academies and universities within the EU, as well as the EU Institute for Security Studies located in Paris. Certainement, la possibilité, la structure qui permet de former ensemble euh, sur les questions de politique européenne de sécurité et de défense, y compris dans ses aspects civils, tous les acteurs militaires, civils, pour qu'ils puissent, euh, en pleine connaissance de tout le potentiel de ce que représente cette politique, travailler sur nos opérations, euh, travailler aussi ici à Bruxelles dans le processus de décision et dans les capitales. As acting head of the European Security and Defence College, I felt from the very beginning on that uh, this will become a very important project because training and education is key to make uh, common foreign security and defence policy of the EU more effective and in the end a success. In its 10 years history, the ESDP, the European Security and Defence Policy, as we now call the common security and defense policy, have launched uh, seven military operations and 17 civilian missions. And that's a significant number during the short time, and all of them have been successful. The courses which are run, uh, for example, by the ESDC, are vital in bringing together individual member states' expertise into the European Union CSDP collegiate experience. Now, with a growing number and also with a growing variety of uh, courses, more and more national, civilian and military institutes engage, contribute so to the success and also engage in an in a effective networking among themselves. Of course, training and education is very important. And this it must happen at different level, at the strategic level and at the operational level. And I think that the SDC courses are absolutely uh, focused on achieving this, uh, this important uh, element. 2,500 people uh, have been uh, followed uh, different type of courses, orientation courses, um, high-level courses for more expert people, or um, specialized courses on security sector reform, on communication, for instance. The training of the ESDC complements the training activities of the member states. To this end, the college has established its own training concept. It offers basic courses, such as the CSDP orientation course, specialist courses on such matters as security sector reform and press and public information, and high-level courses. This training concept addresses all levels of civilian and military personnel, from the grassroots up to the level of decision makers. All training courses are supported by an internet-based distance learning system. We rely very heavily also on the uh, CSDP orientation course, the high-level course, uh, all the courses that are run by the ESDC. We have developed um, a course um, towards a spokesperson for member states and really we focus on the communication. The college makes a major contribution to a better understanding of the CSDP in the overall context of the common foreign and security policy and to promoting a common European security culture. Well, I will be uh, changing jobs and in about a month time I will be Director for International Relationships in the Netherlands Defence Forces and this is a uh, part of the preparation. Well, pers personally uh, I will work uh, within the uh, UMS uh, as I told you before so uh, it provides me with a, with a broad picture of uh, CSDP. They brought together people from all different aspects, uh, areas of uh, the European Union, North America and they all came together to analyse international law 
consider the operational impact of our armed forces and the various uh, operations that we're participating. And uh, you rarely see this convergence of expertise, uh, knowledge. Uh, there's a big uh, gap in terms of ranks and um, uh, background experience. And I think by bringing that group together, we were able to share and learn from each other at all levels. The training activities of the ESDC have to be seen in the larger context of an overall EU training policy and concept established within the CSDP. It has been doing a valuable work in forming a cadre uh, of uh, strategically trained, so to speak, uh, ESDP experts, CSDP experts uh, to be used or to be deployed in our missions and also uh, uh, to have more uh, um, trained personnel to work in the, uh, in the national administrations as well as here uh, at the EU level in, in Brussels. And the latest example, of course, I can mention uh, is the uh, handbook, an excellent piece of work because it does not enter too much into detail, but it gives uh, the reader a full outlook of what uh, CSTP today is. Various initiatives have been taken by other actors, such as the European Defence Agency, to cover specific training needs. The college is training uh, mem representatives from our member states very much focused on policy issues, but EDA is undertaking uh, training activities in some areas specifically related to capabilities. We discuss with the colleagues from the Defence College if there are subjects which could be addressed by the Defence College in our interest as well. The question remains as to whether the College can play a role in this in the future. Therefore training is a very important activity and we have to take some influence on the mindset of the next generation uh, as far as European project management is concerned. The ESCC is uh, of course to further develop more permanent staff, hopefully soon, will allow more training offers through the college. And let me also mention the importance of the internet-based distance learning system. Et avec le service d'action extérieure, évidemment, c'est un besoin exponentiel parce qu'on aura tous les membres de ce service d'action extérieure, à la fois à Bruxelles, dans l'ensemble des délégations, mais aussi sur l'ensemble de nos opérations et dans les capitales qui devront partager cette culture. Le collège va rester un réseau de tous euh, les acteurs, les instituts qui, dans les États membres, travaillent à la formation de ces personnels militaires, civils, diplomates. Euh, et donc, c'est ce, cette convergence des différents instruments que je crois qui va caractériser le Collège dans les, dans les années qui viennent.